Good morning, everybody. Dennis Engelbrecht with the Family Business Institute and our podcast, Digging Deeper. The AGC puts out a smart brief, which comes out daily. And at the end of uh, the smart brief, they always have an inspirational quote. Yesterday, uh, the quote was, to understand the worth of the anchor, you need to feel the stress of the storm. To understand the worth of the anchor, you need to feel the stress of the storm. And this is by Corey Ten Boom, who I have to admit I never heard of. But anyway, thank you for the quote. That quote really got me thinking and, and thinking about, you know, the importance of the anchor, you know, our leaders in our business being anchors and, and, and what that means to the business and thinking of our challenging times that we're in today, both with, you know, the COVID uh, pandemic going on, as well as obviously the U.S. is now in a, in a recession and we're going to be coming out of that recession. And that oftentimes bodes for troubled times ahead for the construction industry, which usually is a laggard to the general economy. And, you know, through this, I, I've witnessed a lot of great anchors out there uh, among our member companies. Uh, people who have stood solid, you know, with the challenges of the pandemic environment, and the changes going on, you know, both on the job sites, in the office, uh, remote uh, or distance working and all of those different challenges going on. And, and we have some great anchors. So what I want you to think about are a couple of things. Uh, number one, who are, your, uh, who are your anchors in your business, all right? Who are the leaders who step up to fill the void, uh, do the extra, you know, when, when things are, are troubled? And, you know, we probably have a new perspective now. If we just look back over the last six months and the challenges that's presented, uh, you may have a clearer picture of who, who those people really are in your organization. Uh, you know, who are the ones that present that reassuring demeanor and calm the troops uh, in those times? Uh, we also may not think of these, but they also have those sort of silent cogs in the wheel who just continue to do their jobs while others might be stressed or frantic or need additional coaching. And, you know, those silent cogs who, who just keep on working in these times are fantastic because you know, we can put our attention to other folks because we know they're always there and they're always doing their job. And, you know, one thing you might think of is, is a little appreciation uh, going out to those folks, uh, you know, as you think about who they are and you, you recognize them. Uh, the next question I want to put out there is, are, are you being an effective anchor uh, for your company? And just, you know, Take an outsider's perspective, look at, you know, have you, you provided support to those who need it? Uh, have you stayed calm and continued to uh, reflect a positive and dynamic vision uh, for your organization to follow? And uh, another aspect of this uh, sort of anchor is I was thinking uh, as I drove over here today about succession and we look at our future leaders. And, you know, you think about yourself as being the anchor in the storm if you're the senior leader of the company, but who's gonna be that anchor after you? Who is it that, you know, the organization would naturally turn to to be that solid base that, you know, protects and keeps everything, you know, sheltered from uh, the winds of change that, that you know, are gonna come against your business. And finally, just, just one other aspect about, uh, you know, the, the feeling the stress of the storm and being that anchor is, who is your anchor personally? You know, who uh, provides, you know, for you the stability in your life? You know, is, is it a coworker? Is it a, you know, a, a partner relationship? Uh, is it a mentor? And make sure that you take the time to appreciate and support, you know, the anchors in your life as well. Uh, because I think it's oftentimes underappreciated. 
you know, particularly as, as times do get a little bit stormy. So again, thanks for tuning in. Dennis Engelbrecht, Digging Deeper.